all well and good to make 10,000 horsepower, but if we can't stick it to the racetrack, there's just no point. The one thing that allows us to do that is these Goodyear slicks. They're 36 inches tall, 17 inches wide. Just as a comparison on your, say, your road car, your hotted up Commodore, you might have about half the width that we do here. So out here, we've got slicks. There's no tread on them at all. They're definitely not meant for wet weather. Hence, when it rains, we definitely can't race. All of the tyres are generic. All the sizes are the same. Everybody runs the same tyre. Goodyear produced one tyre for top fuel, and that's the tyre that we run. It is the, the last component between uh, the powertrain of the car and the racetrack. So it is, it is delivering all the power of the car to the track. So it's important that they're always in uh, very good physical condition so that obviously they can do the, the maximum job that they need to. The burnout procedure primarily is to heat the tyre to get it heated up. How long you burn out, again, is at the discretion of each individual crew chief. You will notice we only do relatively short burnouts. We don't want to overheat the tyre. You'll find most guys have got their foot off the throttle during a burnout by about the Christmas tree. So as opposed to your normal car tyre that's basically just pressed over a bead and expanded onto it, on our wheels here we have what's called a bead lock. So they're held on with a series of bolts and basically that outer ring clamps the tyre to the wheel. If we don't do that and we hit the throttle, basically the wheel will spin in the tyre because the tyre will stick to the racetrack. So we've got a bead lock on both sides to help clamp it to the wheel and stop it rotating. A pair of tyres for this car are in the area of about $2,000, $2,200 per set. So you're looking about $300 per run just in the tyres to go down the racetrack. We will measure the circumference of each tyre because a shorter tyre can help with wheel speed and getting quicker off the start line. A bigger tyre will do the opposite. Uh, we'll also manipulate the tyre pressure in uh, tenths of a pound and uh, the, the lower tyre pressure will help us achieve a, a greater wheel speed initially. A higher tyre pressure will give us greater traction levels initially. But we don't run suspension so our tyres technically you know, are our suspension with the sheer size of them. You'll notice it's quite a different construction of this tyre. It's got quite a high profile and if you look closely when these cars leave the start line the, the side wall of the tyre will wrinkle, absorbing a lot of the initial energy of the engine and drive shaft. No grooves, a slick tyre, maximum surface area contacting the racetrack is what helps us deliver the power to the racetrack.